What up guys, GlockGuy226 here, and today I want to go over my plate carrier hanger that I've made. Uh, I'm not going to go over the plate carrier today, just really want to go over the hanger and how I made it. Now I'm using my smartphone right now with kind of a handheld tripod, so it might be a little shaky, not very stabilized, so work with me on that. Um, we did actually order our new camera today, we placed the order, I know I've been talking about it a little bit, but we actually sucked it up and place the order so it should be in Friday we gotta go pick it up from Best Buy so very excited about that but as for now I've been recording on my phone which it's not the worst camera in the world but it'll be nice to have a really quality camera um, but as far as this plate carrier holder goes guys it is a very very cool display piece um, you know I really like it everybody that has seen it really likes it and I've posted pictures and it's been in the background of my videos and I do get a lot of comments on it so I figured, you know, hey, it's cheap, you could do it yourself, so why not make a quick video on that? Um, to start off with, guys, the most important part here is hitting a stud. As you can see, I have this little piece of wood back there, about 7 or 8 inches long. Um, you want to make sure you hit a stud. That's like the most important part of this, because if not, you just... If you just pick a random place in the drywall, or even if you try to put wall mollies in the drywall, it's, it's probably going to rip it out. Um, plate carriers are not lightweight by any means. So I would not recommend doing that. Uh, most studs are 16 inch centers. So start from a corner, start from a window, and run 16 inches off of that to wherever you want to put it. Uh, mark your spot, then run a drywall screw in, and you'll know the difference if you're hitting wood or going right through drywall. Um, the screw will either screw in there and start to get tough if it's hitting wood, or it'll slide right through the drywall like nothing. So make sure you get that piece of wood into a stud. Now once you get that piece of wood in there, you want to put at least two screws in the top and bottom. Um, if you just put one screw in there, your plate carrier is going to swing around and probably end up working itself out over time. So after you get that done, and I went ahead and stained this piece of wood just to make it look a little nicer. You don't have to do that, but I had some stain lying around and I thought it, you know, it'd give it a more finished look. So once you do that, um, screw your piece of wood to the stud. The first thing you're going to go get is a flange. Um, a flange being this round piece right here and I used half inch gas pipe just regular black pipe as you can see um, you can go bigger than that if you want but there's really no need to go bigger than half inch I wouldn't go any smaller um, I don't think you know anything smaller is really gonna bend but half inch just gives it a good look it's not too big it's not too small as you can see and it's fairly cheap stuff so make sure you get a half inch flange to start off with um, after that what I did was used a six inch piece of pipe right here so it comes out from the wall just enough it doesn't stick all the way out here and look goofy but it's not riding the wall as you can see um, so I thought six inch was a perfect piece so I used six inches to come out from that and then the next thing I did was put a 90 right here to bring the whole thing down just kinda gives it a cooler look um, I guess you could always thread your T right into here and it'd be sitting up here but I think it looks kinda neat coming out and sitting down like that so that's kind of a cool effect. Now something else I've seen a lot of people do is instead of using this 90, if you have a helmet that you run with your plate carrier, use a T right here instead of a 90, and you can run another piece going up, you know, three or four inches, hang your helmet up here, and then you'll have your plate carrier down here. So that is a really, really cool looking setup. I don't have a helmet, so I didn't do that. But if I ever did get a helmet, it wouldn't be a big deal to replace this 90 with a T, add another pipe, and be good to go. But okay, so after that we got our flange, our six inch piece of pipe, a 90, and then I used a three inch piece of black pipe right here, um, just to come down just a little bit, not a whole lot, but just to bring it down enough where it's hanging lower. Um, then after that we, we go into a half inch T right in the middle here. So make sure you guys get all the same size of pipe. You don't wanna get random pipe. So if you don't know nothing about gas pipe or this kind of stuff in general, get half inch gas pipe. So we run it into our T, and then I use six inch pieces on both of these arms right here. Um, I thought, you know, it's just enough. You really don't need eight or ten inch pieces hanging all the way out here, but four inch pieces would be kind of a tight squeeze. So I thought six inches was just a good round number there. And then I also put caps on the ends. If you can see those caps, it just really gives it a more finished look. Um, I guess you could leave the threads exposed, but it looks a lot better to put these caps on there. So all in all, guys, you'll have about $15 in your plate carrier holder setup. Looks super, super cool. Um, 
you know, just an easy do-it-yourself project. Kind of gives a neat display piece in your man cave or your computer room, the garage, whatever. Just gives really, really cool display piece. And I did not think of this idea by any means. Um, I was actually looking for a way to kind of display my plate carrier or at least have a holder for it instead of throwing it on the ground um, for a little bit. At least for a few months I've been looking into it and i seen this idea, I believe on Instagram somewhere. And I thought, man, that's an awesome idea. It's cheap to do. So I went ahead and did it. And I have gotten a lot of comments on it. Um, a lot of guys have asked what, you know, what material should I use to do it. So I figured I'd make a video on that. So all in all, guys, you're going to end up getting your half-inch flange, three six-inch pieces of uh, half-inch black pipe, um, one three-inch piece of black pipe, 190, one T, and two caps. And I will put a list below of all those things if you can't remember that. But thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm having a giveaway February 1st, 2017. So a few weeks away from now, I'll be giving away a, an Ontario Rat 1 folding knife. Really, really good EDC blade. Just kind of show you guys some appreciation. Um, I think I'm almost at 300 subscribers. I was at like 298 last I checked. So today we should break 300 subscribers. Um, I've been doing this thing since November 11th of 2016, so about two months now. So 300 subs is awesome, guys. And I've been trying to put the content out there. I really enjoy doing this stuff. I've met a lot of really cool dudes. So please sub to the channel and like this video. Check out my other content, and thank you guys for watching.